while I was at Jack in the Box today, I picked up the carne asada loaded fries. Wow. I mean, they look good. My arteries are already afraid of it, but they look pretty yummy. Just your carne asada, fries, and cheese. I like all three of the ingredients in here, so it shouldn't be bad, right? All right, so let's tear into this and see what's going on. Well, I did not grab a fork because I'm a why, genius. Why would you have a fork for something like this? Gotta go old school, man. Gotta go commando with the fingers. Okay. Okay, I've got everything I want on this piece. I got meat, cheese, and french fry. So what do you think about those carne asada fries? Well, I thought they were just okay. I was expecting a little bit more, but Honestly, I wasn't very impressed. Really? First okay. reaction. Wow. Now, once again, there's a disagreement here because I thought they were pretty good. I mean, I'm not even a big French fry fan, but the meat was very good, I thought. I mean, I could almost do without the fries and just eat the meat and the cheese by themselves. I actually thought they were pretty good. I will say the meat was pretty good. I, you know, I kind of grew up in Southern California where a lot of I mean, carne asada is kind of a staple there. So, I mean... I think the carne asada is pretty good. I mean, I, I've had a lot of carne asada in my days, and you know, I always fear that it's going to be kind of chewy, but the meat was not chewy. It was very tender. Uh, the melted cheese tasted good on there. The fries were just average fries, but those yeah. mixed together, I think, all kind of worked. See, to me, the fries were almost like almost like rice, where it just like it just took on the flavor of the carne asada. I, the fries were almost irrelevant to me because the carne asada and the cheese were very good. Have another bite of that, Brandon. Maybe you'll change your mind. Maybe it'll grow on you a little bit. Look at that giant piece right there. The biggest piece in the whole container. I'll go a step up and say they're better than average. The meat is definitely good, but what one piece of advice I'd give the Jack in the Box is to increase the amount of carne asada pieces you have in the box, because there were like three or four little teeny tiny bites of carne asada. Yeah, I, I will agree with that. There wasn't enough meat. I mean, it was a lot of fries, decent amount of cheese, and just kind of a little bit stingy on the meat. Uh, the, and the meat's the best part, so that's what you're mm -hmm. really paying for. So, I mean, I could do that. I could take half the fries out and put more meat in there. So, that's, I would agree with that. You want to take a guess on how much these loaded fries were? Yeah, because I was not there. Yeah, my friend actually yeah. suggested I try them, so she bought them for me. All right, well, that was great. Thank you, friend. So, um, how much do I think they cost? I don't know because um, that's a good question. I'm going to say uh, $3.19. You are insanely close. Oh, really? Three dollars even. Really? I've, there you go. Wow. <laughs> I'm impressed. Wow, I'm, I'm impressed too. I'm impressed myself. Freaking reviews guy with the best freaking guesses. What are normally large fries? They're like a couple bucks? The large fry, I think, at Jack in the Box is about two eighty nine. So, So I mean, really, you're only adding a little bit of, of extra money for some pretty good uh, ingredients there. So, I mean, I would take that over a large fry. I think they could offer like a, a bigger version of the loaded fries for maybe about $6. Kind of like how Taco Bell has their big box of nachos. They should put the carne asada on their tacos. That would be that would be killer because that, that's it's pretty good carne asada. I've had quite a bit in my day. I think it's pretty good. If they were to substitute that with the meat and the tacos, now you're onto something there. Ooh. But I think I, I just think it's pretty good. So what do you think if you're going to rate that on a scale of one to ten? On the the ten being the top of the fast food chain, not not restaurant quality because that's a whole different animal. I'd probably say right in the middle at five for average. Increase the amount of meat, definitely go up some. Uh, I'm going to say it's about a seven and a half. I think the carne asada itself would deserve higher, but there's not as much on there as I would have liked. But I think if you just put the carne asada alone, it's it's oh, top sure. of the scale. So I would say a solid seven and a half for value, the cost versus the amount of carne asada you get. I think that's pretty well said, so... Um, I think so, too. I think there's not much else to say, so thanks, everybody, for watching. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that pretty bell next to it so you get a notification the next time we upload a video. Jack in the box. Jack in the box. Jack in the box. You guys remember that show? Hey, guys. It's James. And this is Brandon. And today, we have some Jack in the Box loaded french fries. Let's get to it.